waiting for my hair to dry. Okay, so I just want to do a really... My kids just got back. I thought I had a little bit more time. I just wanted to do a little bit of a quick update. It is Monday, February 1st. This past weekend, we had a completely indulgent weekend. We didn't do anything but play video games all weekend. Telling you what though, we all needed it big time. So today we've actually been really busy playing catch up on a lot of things that we obviously didn't do this weekend. So yeah, I did actually read quite a bit though. Um, I didn't finish anything really that much to talk about for the month of January. So I'm really trying to not feel bad about that though because I did make a lot of progress in another book. I'm still working my way through The Secret History by Donna Tart. Hey, I'm just doing a quick vlog update, so. Oh, okay. okay. Sorry, we cut a little short because it was really windy. And instead of going like our way, a really long way, we yeah. just went there, we took a right, went on the square line to the left, we go to the gate, we took another left, and we just went right home instead of doing the loop. That's fine, that's fine. I'm just glad you got out and got some exercise. Hey, uh, oh my gosh, are those getting small on you? Yes. Yeah, you're not able to wear much longer. Yeah, I feel a little small, so I can run about two, three months more. Um. Oh, so she's gonna be over here. Oh. That's what I get for waiting until they're home from school. So they're getting ready to do their homework now. I gotta look up your stuff on Class Dojo, though. I'll do that in just a second. So I'm on page, like... 287 of this book so um i've been kind of taking my time with it it's and there's 628 pages so just a little under halfway through so i feel really good about that though this is a slower paced book i think um this is the opinions on this book are quite polarizing people either like love it or they hate it when i'm really liking it a lot of people say this book is really pretentious too which I mean, that's kind of the point. Yeah, I just, I'm really liking some of our characters in here because they are like, oh, whatever, somebody's dead. I just don't want to go to jail. <laughs> so yeah, I, I really am liking it. When I got home today, this was waiting for me on the doorstep. Smash Up by Ali Benjamin. I forgot that I actually requested this book, but it is, it looks like a finished copy. This but I guess it's not supposed to be published until February 23rd. A big sticker on it said February 23rd. So I'd have to look into it. I guess just really quickly, I'll just read from inside here. It says, Ethan's wife Zoe is so enraged by the national political scene that she's transformed their home into a local headquarters for the resistance. His college roommate, the former business partner, faces Me Too allegations sending Ethan into increasingly desperate financial straits. His unruly, headstrong daughter, Alex, grows more challenging by the day, a uh, blue-haired millennial making her way through gig economy. Uh, Ethan and Zoe question everything from their past, their future, and their marriage, and what they value most. Inspired by the classic by Edith Wharton novella about strained marriage in a small town, the smash-up is an intimate, moving portrait of a family in distress. That's that. <laughs> um, it's about time for me to go and get the kids situated with their school stuff, so I will check in. All right, what does today? Ooh, this actually looks really cool. Instead of the backlighting, I have like this kind of yellowy light, but it looks like yellow and blue. What is today? Today is Tuesday. Oh no, just kidding. It's Wednesday, February 3rd, so gosh. It's been so weird. Oh yeah, look what I got. I got a new microphone. The whole reason I got the microphone is because it was really echoey from the webcam. You know, just trying to get the best quality I can. So we will see. I'm still kind of testing it out to make sure that it actually makes a difference because if it doesn't make a difference, then I'm gonna send it back. I horrible, horrible allergies. Like I woke up this morning and just didn't feel quite right. So I went and took an allergy pill. And then I had breakfast, took my kids to school. On the way to school, it was horrible. I just, like, I felt like I couldn't breathe. My eyes were just watering. I was trying to, like, do my hair and put on some makeup and stuff like that so I could take the um, Vampire Academy uh, thumbnail pictures for Jess. And it's, like, finally, finally getting better now that I'm finally finished taking the pictures. Maybe I should just run and take another picture or two make sure I got the best picture possible because I really was not feeling adorable. 
I did read some more of The Secret History last night. I really need to amp up my reading. I think that I definitely spend way too much time on social media. I don't really have anything else to update. Oh, yesterday we finished doing my kitchen. So we had to custom make a drawer to fit into the little coffee bar that we made. And so we got that finished and it's really nice. We just have to paint now, but we have a lot of touch-up paint to do. A few weeks ago, one of the kitchen, the face of the drawer had fallen off. Like my house is a little bit older and the, it used to be a rental and they didn't take the greatest care of the property. So some things like that were like, they're starting to fall apart. So we had to uh, fix that drawer. I'm going to try to uh, film a couple videos and I'll catch up with you later. Bye. <laughs> Glass glare. Oh, I have this upside down. You have it upside down? <laughs> you know how many times I've been like, and then this book, and I'm like, oh, it's upside down. This is so cool. I love hand. There you go. Alright, here's the famous cookies. They are huge. And um, that one's like pistachio or something. That was probably the best. This one was like spicy cherry. It was kind of weird, but in a really good way. And I forgot that one. But yeah, they're expensive, but they're kind of worth it. <laughs> Harry Potter. 
water robes and stuff like that. You know what I freaking hate the most about everything that's going on with the JK Rowling stuff is like, I pay good money for my robe, I love wearing it, my son loves wearing it, and I got to explain everything to my son about what's up with that. But like, I don't know, there's still a lot of people here that wear their robes and stuff, but I feel so bad, like, I don't want someone to think, like, I support her opinions about stuff, so it kind of sucks, but... Phantom. Hey, you know they don't have um so mad he did not want to ride this ride at all because it's a baby ride but Donald and I like it it's just I don't know it's just cute so um yeah I don't know we were totally teasing him the whole time was it fun <laughs> you guys watching the the Tampa game. They're so funny. I just took my husband to the airport, so we had to get up at like 5 o'clock this morning. And the airport's 40 minutes away. So 40 minutes there, 40 minutes home. And now I'm just getting my, ready for the kids to get ready for school. Woo! Um... Whatever that is. Hey, Gwen. Gwen knows that Donald's gone. She, there's our guest room door. Sits on that little bri bridge and like looks over and just meows at me. I just really want to play my, I've just been really into playing Animal Crossing and I really indulged a lot in playing Animal Crossing in the last couple weeks because my husband was like playing his game so we were just like hanging out playing video games. But it's kind of like trying to get back into doing my usual stuff. It's probably about 15 minutes to take them to school. So it's a beautiful foggy morning. I don't know why I love the fog. I think it would behoove me to make a big brain dump list of everything that I want to do.
first of all, ignore the uh, the lawn people. It's Wednesday, so they're going around the neighborhood mowing all the lawns. That's literally what I'm working on this morning. So this morning I woke up with really bad allergies. My cat decided to come out of her room and like just I took like two allergy pills. Then my eye was just really burning and itching and inflamed, so I had to go and buy um, eye drops, and it's still just not going away. And then I came home and I listened to, I finished reading, oh, The Summer I Turned Pretty. So that was really good. It feels good to, like, finish a book. I'm actually, like, finishing a lot of books, and I just started The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. Oh my gosh, I'm loving it, and I'm able to get into the audiobook. I just feel like, in general... I've already listened to two audiobooks. I'm so excited. I also got a gel eye mask. I've never really had, I've gotten like little cheapy thin ones. I didn't really know what these were for exactly. This I can microwave and put it in the freezer if I want hot or cold. So when I came home, I put the eye drops in my eye and I put it in the microwave. It was like so, so relaxing. Yeah? Look, I found some pink lilies. I'm going to pick them for you. There you go. Have some lilies. Don't jinx anything in this because both the balls. <laughs> no. No. If it breaks down, you that's the ladder you climbed out in it. Like, falls oh. apart. So you can get on the ladder. That's cool. Those big bowling pins. You don't oh. see them while you're walking next what if you to them. get up? My sister-in-law gifted me these chocolate-covered strawberries for Valentine's Day. They're so beautiful. So we'll get it to you. My husband being in at work away for Valentine's, this is how we say <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day to each other. Just spam memes. It's a big ant hill though. If we just need to find a way to level it out. Yeah, it flies really, really strong though. Aria, I go hold her leash. Yeah. It flies really strong, but we just need to level it because it keeps spinning. Yeah, once the wind comes down. Well, they look even to me. No, it's not the wings. It's the, the we need the strings to pull on the top and bottom as well as the middle, yeah. so it doesn't do that. So that the top stays top side and the bottom stays bottom side. All right, last week I filmed a video and it didn't have any sound. It's discouraged and really frustrated. So I'm gonna have to refilm that video today. I don't know what I'm gonna have for February's vlog because yesterday, starting off yesterday was like such a bad day. Starting at like one o'clock in the morning, we had a big storm. And usually I love thunder and lightning and rain and everything, but I mean, it was enough to wake me up because it was like rattling the house. So then my dog threw up in the bed and that was fun. Four o'clock in the morning, my dog threw up in the bed. So I had to strip the bed, wash laundry. And it just so happened that my phone was in the bed because I was reading on my phone and fell asleep and left my phone in the bed. And it got wet. While I'm doing laundry, I'm freaking out over my phone not working. So it's on a bag of rice right now. It's been in a bag of rice since like yesterday at like Can nine o'clock. Dad Dad's not sure he can fix it. Oh. Yeah. Brave it and take it out of the bag this morning. Please cross fingers that it worked. Cause everything would be, I don't think everything would be lost on my phone. A lot of the most important pictures are on my backup hard drive. After car insurance and everything, we just don't really have the extra money to run out and buy a phone. So yeah, not fun. I am very, I was very upset yesterday. Okay, so there's the whole phone debacle. My, if it's broken, I'm going to lose any footage I had for February's vlog, but that's beside the point. Yeah, it's not that big of a deal. I just, oh yeah, so then the night before, the school calls us and says, well, somebody in sixth grade has COVID, so we're not sure who yet, 
but some people might have to be quarantined at home. So they didn't follow up to tell us. I'm like, okay, well, and usually on the school's Facebook page, like parents blow it up. So I'm thinking, I don't think the parents just quit wanting to talk about it. I think that they're just blocking a lot of it. I didn't hear anything. So I take my kids to school at normal time, 7.30. Then on Class Dojo, because I can get Class Dojo from my laptop, but I was running around trying to figure out my phone and do laundry and stuff like that. So I wasn't able to like look at it. At about eight o'clock, I get a message that said that my son was one of the kids that needed to be quarantined. I'm like, thanks a lot. I didn't make it any big hurry to run and pick them up because I was like, they should have had this sorted out before I dropped my kid off to school, right? Sometimes at school, sometimes. I just don't even know. I just get so frustrated. As soon as we get home, it's track down all of his teachers and figure out what kind of work he needs to do. They have like a website that's supposed, because they have e-learners and brick and mortar, and then they have the temporary quarantine kids. So they do have this like website where all the teachers are supposed to put their assignments each week, and half of the teachers don't update it at all. And some of the other teachers, it's Tuesday now, because they didn't have school Monday, some of the teachers didn't update for the new week. I went through in like Notion and made a outline because he has 10 classes too. And they wrote down all the assignments for each class of things that they're supposed to focus on that week. And then I wasn't able to fill in everything. So then I had to make a checklist of all the teachers that I contacted. I had to go track down every almost every single teacher and send out like an email and wait for a response. So then I couldn't keep track of which teachers, so I had to make like check boxes of yes, I sent out an email, yes, I got a response, and that way I could fill in like a note sheet when I got a response of what he's supposed to do. That took me like two hours, and I'm still not done because I didn't get any response from some of the teachers. Do you know how frustrating that is? So I ended up sulking like the rest of the day because I was just over it already and it wasn't even noon. So then I made us like grilled cheese for, for lunch, binge watched Gilmore Girls and put my son on his essay project. So today we're gonna be a lot more productive. Um, I, I need to go grocery shopping, I need to, oh I forgot, I have to go take something to like the UPS store, but I can't pull up the return slip because it's on my phone when my phone is broken. One of the teachers is adamant that I call him and I'm like, look here, I don't have a phone. <laughs> Please just send me a message on Class Dojo. Here's my hours, you can call, here's my cell phone, you can call me, I have one hour. I didn't get it in time. I'm just, I'm so over this teacher higher time like you just sent a message to tell me to call you so why don't you just say here's what we're working on this week no I, I I'm like I don't have a phone <laughs> the other thing too is this morning we didn't have internet connection and pretty much my house is like a high-tech smart house it only runs on internet we are supposed to have like this backup battery and stuff like that that my husband set up in case we have like a hurricane. We're just having a lot of connectivity issues. I was just so mad. I was so mad. I was like, can you please just tell me on Class Dojo? Here's my phone number. I have one hour open. Well, I'm sorry. I'm not sitting here watching for your message. Uh, I have shit to do. I don't even know what time he sent the message. <sighs> So I told my son to get on Teams. He was actually able to get on Teams. So I told him, please contact your teacher. Please, you call him because I'm going to flip. When I got home from picking up my kids from school, I walk into the kitchen and my dog has, there was like food trash in there and it was all over the kitchen, all over. The biggest mess I've ever seen. I was so mad. The ball rolling on all the bad things that can happen in one day. One good thing that did happen yesterday is I got two packages in the mail, but this is from HarperCollins Publishing. <gasps> Wait. Starfell, Willow, Moss, Mom. and Lost Day. Got question. Go get dressed. Oh, you don't need to get dressed. You're home. Because <laughs> technically. Do you need to be dropped off at 7.30? Mm. Or do you want to go a little later? Mm, need to be dropped off at 7.30. It's an ordinary Friday in the land of Starfell when Willow Moss, a most ordinary witch, receives the most extraordinary news. 
Oh, last Tuesday has gone missing, and she's the only witch who can find it. Can Willow find the day to save the day? So there's that book. And then the other one is also Harper Collins. It's about the same size. I wonder if it's a sequel. Oh my God, is it the same book? <gasps> they sent me two of the same. That feels so wrong. Has that ever happened? Have they ever sent you like two of the same copy? That feels so bad. I mean, I don't really want to pay to send it back, but I feel like it could go to somebody else. I don't know. Maybe I'll give it. Maybe my kids can find a friend at school to give it to. Sure. Yeah, you have a friend that would like that? Probably. Aaron's a big reader, huh? Mm-hmm. Like, do He's you, more of a big part than do you see the copy. big books I read? I mean, I could yeah, try you do read. We could try reading at the same time as well. Like yeah, we could buddy read this. <laughs> All right, well, I think that that wraps up this vlog. I actually did get out of bed today and put on some makeup. I'm going to try to film that romance reading thing. I wanted it to come out on Valentine's. That obviously didn't happen. So, but I still want to put it together. So I'm going to film that today. Yeah, and you need to go brush your teeth before school. All right, I'm going to go brave my cell phone and hope, hope that the rice trick worked. And it'll be fine. It's got to be fine, right? It has to be fine. I had a bad luck day. I need a good luck day, right? I should get a sage stick and, like, cleanse the space. It's, like, supposed to cleanse your space of negative energies and stuff. I think I, think I need to do that. I always have to test the sound because... I totally recorded a whole video and there was no sound. You can imagine my devastation when I went to edit it and I was like, can't hear. What? So, uh, yeah, that was fun. I can't remember where I last updated. I was having like the worst day ever. Since then, my phone has been broken and I've been like just really stressed about like what's going to happen because I really did not have the money to run out and buy another phone. But of course, my husband, being the best person ever in the whole universe, he just felt too bad. He felt too bad. And so do you know what he did? He bought me a phone. He had it sent. He had it delivered as fast as they could get it here. And I was just like, you didn't have to do that. But I love you. <laughs> came in the mail for me. It's kind of cool, actually. Yeah. Oh my god, it's beautiful! <gasps> yep. Anyways, um, I actually did film a little bit of a unboxing thing here somewhere. I will probably put it up here, but what do you call it? An, I an iPhone 10R. I am so in love with it. Yeah, so I spent a lot of time messing around with my new phone, of course, trying to switch. This is my new, this is my home screen picture, my new wallpaper. You know, on my other phone, I just like didn't even add a wallpaper and customize it or whatever onto other business. I'm hosting the Vampire Academy read along live show on my channel tomorrow night. I had never run StreamYard. I've never done a live show on my channel before. And so I was really, really nervous. And I tonight was supposed to be a trial run. Thank you, Nicole, for coming in and hanging out with me and Ebony for, for at least hanging out with us in the chat. That meant so much to me because I really needed to like do a trial run. <laughs> I read a ton of Lord of Shadows. Seriously, I have like 10 pages, 20 pages, and I'm finished with the book. Tomorrow I'm going to be finishing this book before our live show. I've got quite a bit of work to do on this. So about 400 pages to go. Yeah, I'll, be, I'll have that read, no problem at all. After tomorrow, I want to focus on Queen of Air and Darkness. Like, now that I'm, like, sucked back into the Shadowhunter world, I think that I will really enjoy reading Queen of Air and Darkness. So I'd really like to get that vlog done. 
Oh, something else I did. I just have to, I just have to give myself a pat on the back because fitness goals have not been doing good. I have fallen off the bandwagon with that. But today I spent most of the day studying Spanish. Like I just got sucked into it and I just, and then that was all he had. He's like, okay, mom, what's up with you? <laughs> so I haven't even had a cereal yet. <laughs> but then I kept bugging him all day because I was just like, I don't know. It's just like today was like a really good day. And like all the words that I knew just like came easy to me to just pull out of thin air and I just threw them in my day wherever I could and then if I didn't know something and I realized like I wanted to say something really bad and I would be like oh wait cause it is a and then this word and then I'd say like what I wanted to say in Spanish or say something that I know in Spanish so I don't know I just felt like really I just felt like a really good day today um as far as that goes so I have star fragments to go pick up on my beach so I am just working on editing a video while I listen to Queen of Air and Darkness and make my vlog updates. In the next couple weeks, I should have quite a few videos to upload. I'm excited. All right. This is the first video I'm filming on my new phone. I had my day planned out that I was going to come home and I was going to be home all day. And working on some videos because so I dropped my kids off at school and I remembered as I dropped as they're getting out of the car I remembered that my son had has a speech to do at school today and he was supposed to wear something nice and I just put him in his uniform so I had to find him a, a nice outfit take it to the school ask them I, I was out like all day now my day is like kind of derailed by the way does anyone like fig newtons whoops like fig newtons or fig bars I know they, I feel like they get like such a bad rap, but they're actually really good. And I think they would be a good snack for my kids sometimes to take to school. Cause I usually like to load them up with like something healthy. Cause I don't want to give them like sugar so they don't focus. They already have focus issues. So giving them sugar is not going to help. But I've been craving like chewy, like fruit candies forever. I got Haribo's watermelon ones. I've never had this flavor before. They're much more sour than I thought. And then they have these. I don't really like a lot of candy, but I do like the Haribo brands. I have always had like the Coca-Cola ones. I don't know if it's because this is Florida and there's a lot of like international travelers and stuff. I didn't know there were so many flavors until I went to England. They have them like in every color. They have like wine, ones that taste like wine. Um, and I had a lot of fun trying the different flavors there. So since I moved to Florida, they have all these other different unique flavors that I haven't seen like when I lived in Colorado and stuff. So, but they have this one called Haribo Passport Mix. Favorites from around the world. Later, I will taste test them and we will see which ones are really good. Um, okay, so what I got the library. I'm still in the market for finding like poetry that really speaks to me that I really like. But I know there's something out there for me because I have read some of, is it Walt Whitman? Or at least I remember like, it, hey, I can at least understand these. <laughs> that sounds really dumb, but I feel like a lot of people have this problem with poetry. A booktuber that I really like to watch all of her videos is Emmy and she always has really good recommendations. And so she mentioned Anne Carson. So I found a book of poems by Anne Carson to try out. I really fall in love with just learning again. And I'm like, I know what to do. And I have the confidence to speak, even if I don't know like any words, even if my vocabulary is extremely limited, like I'm just, I'm, a, I'm excited to talk. And I have, I feel like I have confidence just to say what I know, at least around my house. But I found this book. So I went into the library and find like easy Spanish books to try try to help boost, you know, read in Spanish and boost my vocabulary. So I found this one, it's called The Day It's No Tortillas by Joe Hayes. Folk tales told in Spanish and in English. So it's side by side text. And then these are the ones I purchased because they have their little bookshop thing in there. And I found the most beautiful copy of this book. I do have a paperback copy and it matches another like one like this, but I could not pass this up because it is beautiful. 
Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. I have not ever read this book. I just like, like, it is really beautiful. And I've decided for one of my decorations on one of my shelves, I'll, I'll have to show you, but I want to do like a dark academia style on top of my shelves for decoration. They've been kind of hodgepodge. I've just been either throwing, I don't even know. I've just been throwing books up there I don't, that I've kind of been reading. I don't know. It's been a mess. So I want to like actually make like decorate it. And I think I have enough stuff to make it look. The next one I found is um, I've been slowly collecting the books from the series. Like when I see one, I pick it up. Um, and that is the Succubus Blues series. And I have, I have, now I think I have the first four books. Succubus Blues, Succubus on Top, Succubus Dreams, and now Succubus Heat. So now I just need to read them. <laughs> and then I found this one, The Assassination of Margaret Thatcher. I love this cover. <laughs> And this is like short story collection, pretty small book, but a short story collection. And it's more like contemporary author of the Man Booker Prize winner bestsellers. I guess it's supposed to cover topics of like marriage. Where is it? I saw it in one of the blurbs. I just really like what it says here. It's the assassination of Margaret Thatcher, Hillary Mantel's trademark gifts of penetrating characterization brilliantly unsettled the reader in that unmistakably Mantel way. Okay, so cutting to the core of human experience, Mantel brutally and acutely writes about marriage, class, family, and sex, unpredictable, diverse, and sometimes shocking. The assassination of Mar Margaret Thatcher displays a magnificent writer at the peak of her powers. Finally, this one, All of Again by Elizabeth Strout. I remember seeing this book and I was really intrigued by the cover. Yeah, but this one is more just like a, it says, Funny, wicked, and remorseful. Compelling life force, red-blooded original. So we have this character, Olive, who's um, confident in a second marriage, evolving relationship with her son and her family and crossing paths with a cast of memorable characters in a seaside town, Crosby, Maine. Whether with a teenager coming to terms with the loss of her father, a young woman about to give birth at hilariously inappropriate moment, a nurse who confesses a secret high school crush, and a lawyer who struggles with an inheritance that she does not want to accept. The Arrest Erisable, Eras, Erasable? I'm gonna have to look that up, that word up. Olive improbably touches the lives of everyone around her. Not usually something I would go for. However, it kind of fits with a secret TBR that I'm working on. I don't know if I'm gonna do this today. No, I can't do this today. So I'll probably have to do it later this week. Oh, is that gonna be too bad? So we have this plant here. I didn't really know what I was doing when I was growing, growing plants and stuff. Um, but this is like really thick sticks on it. And I don't think it's supposed to have sticks like that. So I want to plant these. They are cone flowers. And then I'm going to try and grow sage as well. These are so cool. I've never seen these before. Not that I'm like, not that I like plant a whole lot. But these are like really cool like little beads that they put the seeds in. So yeah, that'll be fun. New plants now that it's spring. Most of the time I can just get on and like talk about a book. Water Shadows was a lot to unpack. And then the ending just derailed everything that I wanted to say about it because something really big happens and it's like the whole book was leading up to this moment and everything else I don't care about because of this thing that happens at the end and I'm devastated. We're just gonna ignore my face right now. I'm having a horrible breakout again. Um, but anyways, I just wanted to jump on here to show you guys. I'm, I've gotten on the ball with catching up on a lot of my vlog projects. So I'm here sitting down trying to edit a video that the first time I filmed it and uploaded it to my computer, I was like, yeah, we're going to get this, you know, done really quickly. That didn't happen because when I loaded it, for whatever reason, there was no sound. So then I refilmed it, and I was like, okay, this is no longer a Valentine thing. I mean, it's still the Valentine thing, but it's really late. Refilmed the whole thing, and honestly, it was a little bit better with the production of it. It looked, like, cleaner. It looked nicer. I noticed it was lagging, but I was like, no, that's really weird. Why would it lag? Is this lagging, too, right now? I just continued to film it. So now that I'm, like, I even went through and did the, all the rough cuts, polishing touches, it's lagging. 
So now I'm like thinking, rethinking all of the videos that I have filmed with the webcam. Are they all lagging? No sound. So I did do this project in is lagging. Like if it fixes in the middle, I might be able to work with it, but let's see. I think I am just gonna go ahead and edit it and I might just put a thing in there that says, I'm sorry. <laughs> But it's like already later than I wanted to do like everything I ever do. So <sighs> decisions, decisions. I just I really don't have to refilm it again. The good old school line. Loads of cars. This is my car book today. Rebel Bell. I'm on page 75. Or your queen. No, your bushel can't jump can over here. Can anything kill this guy if I go over here? If you can't go over there. You can only go here and kill this guy if you want. Oh, true. Because nothing can kill him. I don't want my queen to die. I mean, do you want your pawns to die, though? Because, oh, wait, no, I'm going to keep that there, actually. Because <laughs> your queen could kill that. Bam! I'm not, I, don't want, <laughs> I don't want your queen to kill my queen. And I'm not moving this guy back here because you're just going to... Wait, no, the queen will still be protected. Hey, yo, I dare you. Move your rook right here. Why would I? That'd be smart. It'd be really smart. It'd be ten out of ten smartness. Why? I'm. Yeah, I'm gonna. To I'm gonna. No, here. I'm gonna oh, wombo no. combo you. Then you're. Then you're no, I can't. Yeah, because you'll just have to kill the bush up and just be, just be a loner. The bush up. Wait, you're turning my turn. Your turn. I'm not doing that. You can only. Move. I am not doing this. <laughs> Beep. Wait, no, I can't do that. Wait, hold up. You're really moving that. I need my rooks though. And and it's, worth, my... it's worth the kill, but at the same time, it's not. I mean, because you just get destroyed by the queen. Ooh, actually, you know, this is a smart move. <laughs> oh, that's. I never knew bushes could do that. Because I'm just going to take out that guy. Oh no, then I would. Yum.